back to another video, guys. So this one is obviously titled what it is. Uh, and this is the first thing you're going to see. Uh, with uh, DJ Cobra saying, maybe people will care, will care about Ray if they do this. And honestly, AI generation, you know, and uh, I'm sorry, AI generated Ray Scott. Well, I ain't gonna call her that. She ain't no, she ain't no damn Skywalker. She's a Palpatine. But anyway, I mean, that would be, <laughs> you know, yeah, people will actually start caring, I guess, to a degree. But if the story is still messed up, of course, um, Obviously, people are not really going to, not a lot of people are going to tune in. Um, that much is given. That's obvious. But it, it, he wanted to start this. He posted this because he wanted to start a conversation from us and with his uh, Geeks and Gamers channel uh, about making Star Wars great again. And he, one thing he said that stood out was making women female like female again and making men <laughs> making male characters men again instead of just making them uh weak and, and making the uh, women ma overly masculine and i didn't know i watched the force awakens back when it was still relevant and i thought that was okay i thought it was a I, I had flaws, but I thought it was a decent starter for a new trilogy. I, I was thinking to myself at the time, like, man, you know, even though they kind of mess, they mess things up, especially with the unforgivable sin of uh, killing off Han Solo. And I get that Henry Ford doesn't really, I, well, supposedly he doesn't want to play Han Solo again, but he keep he, he reprised that role again in the ninth episode, the worst one, one of the, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know, between the seventh and I'm sorry, uh between the eighth and ninth episode, uh I don't know which one's worse. But besides the point, I thought it was a decent starter. And I was thinking they can do better when the next one comes out. So the the last Jedi comes and that was terrible. I didn't see it in theaters. I wasn't a Star Wars guy like that back then. I was. I didn't really care. And then I don't know what got me in Star Wars. To be honest, um, I'm not sure what got me into it. I'm a prequel guy. I like the original trilogy, but I'm a prequel guy. And I didn't know there was a lot of hate going on with the prequel. Uh, and I certainly didn't know there was a lot of hate going on with the sequel trilogy until I watched. The Last Jedi, and mind you, this was like a year, a year after its release. So I was thinking, like, okay, this could be good. So I watched it, and I was just like, what is going on? I was like, I knew something was off. I knew something was wrong, but I, I couldn't place it. I couldn't because again, I, I wasn't into Star Wars like that. So after that film. I started looking into Star Wars, and I was thinking to, and I was just thinking like, am I am I going crazy here, or did people not enjoy this too? Because I, I thought this was, I thought it was a terrible movie, but I was proven right. You know, I was proven to you know have to be right because that was a bad, really bad movie, especially with what they did with Luke Skywalker. Um. <laughs> So I I guess that's like made me became that that's weird because when I think about it now it's like that's what made me become a Star Wars fan just just not liking the the um uh, sorry the eighth episode I don't want to call it the eighth episode <laughs> God uh but and I just couldn't help but notice like the main character. Ray, you know, she she's doing everything perfectly fine, and if she, there's something that does happen, it's like a minor inconvenience, and she's able to get over it quickly. I 
with making Star Wars great again, there's a lot of things that will have to be taken into account, mainly the stuff that goes behind the scenes. Uh, I, for one, would get rid of the bloat, as in, like, the people who think they know what they're doing, trying to turn a, trying to turn an action-packed brand into something that's just, that, like, for example, like, oh, I cut myself off from the force. How? No, that doesn't, that's just not how it works, man. The force is in everything and everyone. I think, I believe so, right? I could be wrong. But that's, as far as I got from the movies and watching the show a little bit, um, uh, the Clone Wars show, the um, anim- um, 3D animated, not the not the 2D animated. I want to watch that, though. Um, it's, you know, it's stuff like that, like breaking their own rules. And I understand that happens when there are people overlook things, but it, it just keeps on their, they, uh, <laughs> They do it. They purposely do it, and that's what got, I'm. I, I just it's to the point where it's crazy to think that Star Wars was really big, and all of a sudden it's like no one really cares, or it, do, people do care. It's because they're criticizing it, and they say this is you know. But they, I don't know where to go with this, guys, because you know. I, I kind of, I do kind of feel bad for the actors and actresses, um, unless unless they said some really crazy stuff about people, then I don't care. But you know, you know, when I think of like Adam Driver, who was uh, who was uh, what what the hell? See, I can't I can't even think of the character's name because it's so irrelevant. But he was the he was the main bad guy. He, you know, Adam Driver's role, Ray, um, Daisy Ridley's role as Ray, uh, Finn, especially Finn. Well, I don't know what Finn is doing nowadays, but especially with his character, Finn, I, I felt the most connection, really, with Finn and Captain Phasma because that rivalry was, you could feel it. It was there, and they should have never killed off Captain Phasma in The, in, in the Last Jedi. And and that's when they start turning Finn into a joke as well, the token black guy. You know, I don't. I, I, okay, business standpoint, or then just getting rid of the blow and, uh, and just having I, I guess something there. I guess there's something with the investors as well too. I mean, there's something everywhere. I wouldn't even know where to start. Or then I guess get rid of the employees who who are. Who are just I, I I guess woke. Who don't know a damn thing about Star Wars and they just want to inject their their political their pol- uh, political standings into it. I that I think that would be a good first right there. But on the entertainment side, oh I, also not have not have uh the actors actresses. Be posting on social media about cra- you know d- usual crazy stuff that would uh, divide people yeah divide people or you know cause uh, revenue to go-, go down just because of what they said. <laughs> now that's just on the business point. Entertainment side, I would say get strong writers, get the get people get people involved who are who are. Who've worked with Star Wars from the beginning, if that's even possible, and who know what they're talking about. Do that. Don't don't make it connected to. Don't connect it to the to the sequel trilogy, and if you do, you better be real damn smart about it because that's that's gonna. I I think only I think mentioning certain characters from that would just like like oh no, it's connected. I don't know. I think there's, I think there's a way, there's so many ways to go about this. When, when I think about it, I, I'm just, I'm being overwhelmed with it because I, not only is it early for me right now, but I, it's just like, how would I, it's such a big mess and this shouldn't have been a, a mess in the first place. I would have never, and, and I, I'm not sure if it's true, but I heard that they threw away scripts that George Lucas already made. 
and it was right there for them, was made for them. All they needed to do was turn it, you know, make make that into a reality. But they threw it away in favor of making it into a girl brand. I, I mean, what, what, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to call it. I mean, that, that's what it looks like to me. It's like it became a brand for girls, especially with the, the fucking you know, hair color, um, the rainbow hair colors, and sage, shaves, you know, it's just, no, man, just focus on good character arcs, focus on, focus on the bigger picture, I actually have an idea of how all this ends, and, and take out what doesn't work, and put in what does, oh, disrespecting the fans, All this could have been avoided, dude. And from what I've heard or seen with the supposed sequel trilogy that we were supposed to get with Darth Maul and I think Darth Talon, that, that sounded awesome. That sounded really cool, especially with Darth Maul making a comeback. Come on, man. That, that, that was awesome. That would be awesome, man. That would be so awesome. Hmm. Then yeah, uh, I mean, other than uh, having the attitude of like the old school Star Wars, as uh, you know, if you want, if you want to take it up a notch to the uh, Force and Leash Star Wars era, or, I mean, that was that was a lot of attitude right there, and that's what made it awesome, especially the character designs, dude. I you know I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind uh, a Daisy really dress up like this I mean because not only does she look sexy while well, this a, a, well with this AI generation but you know it it'd be believable at least badass but honestly I think we should just honestly I think we should just forget it. Don't even try and link it. Don't try to link it to the sequel trilogy at all. Just, just leave it alone. Just, it's his own little thing. I call it the crisis sequel because, <laughs> man, they lost, they lost money so much. And oh my god, dude. Well, the I guess this is my response to it. I just, dude, wow, what happened? Learning that, I think that's, I think that's it, y'all. I was gonna look into the comments, but uh, I'm gonna link, I'm gonna link the video to y'all, and also the geeks and gamers video, and also this tweet. So be sure to check the description. Ciao.